Welcome again to Stone Cold Classics and today we have a 1965 Lancia Fulvia Berliner race car. So this is a, a, a left hand drive Italian car that has been imported into the UK um, around 2013 I believe. Um, it's had one owner in the UK since importation and it's had some, uh, seen some action in mainly hill climbs. Um, I won't go into too much detail of this car because there's too much to talk about. So all the details of, of, of the uh, specification will be on the website in the description. Uh, this is just a short video to walk around the car and show you the condition and what we've got. So, um, yes, so it was raced by M. Moritelli in Italy. It's got an Italian FIA passport with it, um, with lots of documentation and um, a history of all of the a lot of the races it's been in. I, th I believe it's been relatively successful. Um, certainly been been raced uh, a lot in Italy. On the window around the corner here, we'll have a look at in a minute. You can see some of the the races it's been in. Uh, obviously, started off as a really solid car, as you got to have for a race car, and it still is a very solid car. Um, there's no rust on it. It's uh, it's a very solid. Um, usable car there's no damage racing damage so to speak so it's still in great great usable condition it's actually roadworthy it doesn't have an MOT because it's not it's not it doesn't have to have one but um, we are toying with MOT in it but um, concerned that there's a few bits on it like it hasn't got a, a traditional speedo and stuff like that that if it fails we, we could be in a bit of trouble so we might have a discussion with the next owner to decide what what best route to take. Inside, all the usual stuff that you'd expect, Sparco steering wheel. We've got a Sparco seat and a Momo seat there. That's for the passenger, which obviously can come out. Full roll cage. Um, like I said, there's no speedo, but we'll have counter bang in the middle. Uh, we'll start her up in a minute and you can have a listen. But let's go over the bonnet. Everything's been lightened, so the glass in the car is in plexiglass, apart from the windscreen, I believe. Yeah, windscreen's glass. Um, let's get these pins open. Need two hands, there we go. And you can see under the bonnet, watch this flex, <laughs> all, the, uh, all of the strengthening has been taken out for lightness. It really is a light and fast car. Engine bay isn't prettiest in the world, but it's a race car. And it, it runs lovely, it's quick. It sounds amazing, we'll start her up in a minute. And um, it's an enormous lot of fun. It's only a 1.1 litre engine, so tiny little engine, but it's a screamer. There's a set of slightly larger front wheels for hill climbing. It's obviously a front wheel drive car. Roll cage everywhere. Seats bolted into the back. Uh, seat belts bolted into the back of the, um, the driver. And there's a, there's a small belt down there for occasional passenger. I'm sure that's not supposed to be there. They're supposed to race with passenger. <laughs> it's not a rally car. In the boot. We've got a similar scenario with the strengthening taken out out of the back out of the uh, boot lid. Fuel tank in the back there. Everything's obviously been stripped out for lightness, but you can see that it's nice and solid everywhere. And there's been there's evidence of some wax as well being pumped into the car. Right, let's start her up. Um, it's obviously been running. I've been taking pictures of it. It is a it's a race car, so it has a process for starting that um, we've done already. We can talk you through it if you're interested. It's very simple. Turn the ignition on. Push button start. Side exit exhaust, so nice and loud. Leave it 
running. We are. We don't like starting and stopping it. She doesn't like that at all. She so don't want to foul up the spark plugs. So we'll jump out and finish the video. Thank you. 